Welcome to this podcast. The aim of this is to better understand the Hinkley Academy Key Stage 3 assessment and reporting system for 2019 onwards. Key Stage 3 for us is, de- is defined as Year 7 and Year 8. Previously, assessment has been based on a flight path model. So on your child's report, you will have seen a profile. Now in Year 7, that was a merged grade, so the statement or the the route and the destination of a 54 was that in that subject your child is or should get a 4 or a 5 and throughout year 7 and year 8 we have given AP information relative to how secure that child is on the five year journey to the end of the key stage. Now when we've analysed flight path models one of the hardest parts is for a year 7 or a year 8 student their journey is based on five years and all performance is evaluated against an outcome that f- that is four or five years in advance of them where this occurs there can be significant problems to do with motivation because it is so hard to see an outcome that is so far away so our current system we're looking to move away from a flight path away from making judgments based on performance in the future and better analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of your child now in their current key stage as an 11 12 or 13 year old under the old reporting system this is an example of a year eight assessment from last year the child has a profile which suggests that they're going to get A's and A stars or be assessed against getting A's or A stars in the majority of subjects. They've got a very high reading age proportional to their age and yet when we look at the report as a whole it would suggest that there is a number of yellow and red and those statements would suggest that that child is underperforming based on colour balance when actually what the statement what this report is really showing is that the length of this child's journey is significant and in four years time on their route to getting A stars and A's they are currently struggling in some of those subjects but it doesn't accurately portray how well that child is doing at this point in time it's only a projection against performance in the future so as an academy we went back to we worked with our year six feeder schools and we really had a look at what are the most important pieces of information that we can relay to you about how your child is doing as an 11 12 or 13 year old and evaluate their performance against their age expectations and not against an outcome that is in the future with so many variables to take place as you scan your eyes and you look around the wheel we thought that the ability to read, the comprehension and the overall ability to access the curriculum through reading was one of the areas that we would most need to inform you of your child's likely process. Their empathy, their their perspective and their ability to reason are endemic skills that will help them as they progress from Key Stage 3 to Key Stage 4. We therefore constructed an attribute list. Now the attribute list has attributes, skills and essential pieces of core knowledge that from the previous wagon wheel we constructed by going through the subject leaders and asking maths what areas do you feel you can most accurately identify whether a child is on, above or below age expectations for any given set of criteria and the maths department came back with we can most accurately comment on numeracy ability their methodical approach towards working a problem out and their problem solving skills and as you track your eyes along the 30 criteria previously in geography we were saying that a child was secure on a destination five years in advance Now we're discussing whether or not your child has graphing skills and evaluative skills relative to an 11, 12 or 13 year old building their learning in Key Stage 3 and providing the foundations to go on to Key Stage 4 study. 
you'll notice that the grading has changed slightly from previously the secure and the developing statements are exactly the same but we've now contextualized what that statement means and we've include we've replaced um, the blue and the red statement with the new wording of expert and beginning for each grading criteria we're trying to communicate effectively with you that if a child is expert in a given skill attribute or piece of knowledge then their learning characteristics are advanced and above age related expectations this tracks through being secure developing where we're slightly below and then beginning where we're below age expectations and development needs to be made to help them to improve and access key stage four curriculum when they get to year nine each department has gone away and has applied the criteria to each one of their statements so for example reading for comprehension and meaning the below age expectation box has been established a criteria that says can read and understand the main ideas in a range of texts can give a personal response to text and refer to some aspects of language can understand how text reflects the time and the culture in which they were written the purpose of this is to establish what age expectations are compared against for each of the attributes, skills or pieces of knowledge. This is mapped across all criteria for each department, so the English statements, maths, science, geography, etc. We've established what we consider secure learning and performance for age expectation to be and we have extended that to advanced statements, statements that are developing and statements that are beginning. These are the criteria that your child is assessed against. Each descriptor has been broken down into a specified set of criteria that, consist, that can be consistently applied. So for example, resilience. The statements at the top that run from left to right are the similar statements to you will have I've read to you for the English ones. Below you can see how each of the statements, expert, secure, developing and beginning, have been subdivided into criteria which staff use to assess in their lessons when assigning the descriptor for the AP point. Each department has criteria for each of the 30 statements that mean that it has been consistently applied and those and the reasons and justifications for any grading can be given during a parents evening. The report structure now looks significantly different. Each of the 30 criteria run next to each of the departments and then we use a colour coding system for expert, secure, developing or beginning. The idea behind this is we want to create an accurate map as to how well your child is doing for the place they are within the key stage. So year sevens are AP2, where are they for an 11 year old? How secure are their attributes, skills and essential knowledge in building building blocks for them to go forward and achieve in key stage four? Year 8 AP2 and Year 7 AP3 will include written comments as a part of a legal requirement on one of the three assessment points there will be a written statement. This will be the form tutor analysing the child's strengths and weaknesses and contextualising attendance, how they interact in the class, how they get on with peers and reporting that back to you. Students will also receive a radar chart which is a visual representation of their strengths and weaknesses and this we feel can be used to map key stage four requirements against their strengths and weaknesses. Attribute radar charts will look like this. We can see that the beginning is at the centre of it, then it expands out into developing, then secure, and then the expert around the outside. Each child will receive one of these radar charts and it becomes easier to evaluate where a child's greatest areas of strength or weakness are. So for this radar chart, this is somebody who is who has good embedded numeracy skills, they're advanced for their age, they have good practical skills, they acquire knowledge very quickly, they're secure in their cultural awareness, they're resilient, they have good ICT skills and very good physical application. 
that defines the areas of strength for this individual and that can be used to map the requirements of each GCSE course when we're considering which GCSEs to take. Likewise on the interior end of the radar chart it can identify areas that are beginning and areas where there is need for improvement and areas that could be a barrier to accessing a specific GCSE at Key Stage 5. The takeaway message is really the Year 7 and 8 assessment is no longer based on a flight pass model and we are looking at how your child is performing at present and not in a comparison against where they should be in relation to a, an end outcome in five years time. We will report on age expectations, equivalent to age expectations for each of the 30 attributes, skills or knowledge. We have constructed this list of 30 to because we believe them to be the most essential foundation blocks for study at Key Stage 4. Attribute profiles will be used to match individual strengths with each option. So where ICT skills are particularly important, that may be graphics, engineering, IT, computer science, that will be something that those departments will say, well, we really want people who are secure and expert in this area because it's going to mean an easier transition to Key Stage 4 work. Any child's performance at Key Stage 3 is not limited or proportional to their Key Stage 2 performance. The build up to SATs, the, the data that is generated by SATs is important and it helps to specify the end outcome. But if children are assessed against that right from the start of Year 7, the purpose of Key Stage 3 in building the essential learning blocks and core pieces of knowledge and understanding that are then layered onto with Key Stage 4 content are missed. We will demonstrate a, uh, evidence of our understanding of each child's strength and weakness in more depth and celebrate where an 11, 12 or 13 year old has really good accelerated expert or secure levels of understanding proportional to where they're at so that the colour spread on a report that goes home is more green and blue. You can access some supporting information on Firefly, it's located under resources, then the parents area, assessment and reporting, and I've written a, a two sides of A4 that's a year seven and eight assessment and re reporting breakdown as to some of the information that I've delivered today. I've also included my email address below, so if at any assessment point there is an issue associated with how we assess or the processes or you wish for more information please feel free to contact me thank you very much for listening